Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Coco Styles and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to easily transition to a vegan. I'm going to give you guys 10 tips, 10 tips, 10 easy tips on transitioning to a vegan. But first, I'm actually going to let you guys know that I am looking down at my computer so I can make sure I grab all of the tips and some questions that I usually get from people that I want to address. So the first question is, why did I become vegan? This is a quick story. Breast cancer runs in my family. So they say. Uh, my mom, my grandmother, and my auntie, all three of them passed away from breast cancer. That was enough for me to say, what did they do wrong and what can I do to prevent that? I personally think that a lot of the foods that we do eat causes a lot of the sicknesses and diseases that a lot of people do have, especially in the US. So for me, it was the history of the breast cancer that kind of shook the table for me. Um, but last year, mm, sorry, a couple of years ago, I had an issue where I was work. I started working out again and I had a rash on my breast. A little personal, but that, that rash made me go on Google. Guys, I'm telling you now, do not Google your symptoms, okay? Because Google will tell you that you're dying. Um, but pretty much I went on Google and it told me that I had, ah, I forgot what it was called. I'm gonna see if I can find the name and link it down below. So I go to the doctor and she pretty much says that she doesn't think that's what it is because it typically doesn't happen in both breasts. So I think either I had a reaction just from, I don't know what it was. All I know is that it was there and it scared the hell out of me. Um, so I stopped cold turkey. That is not for everyone. My story is different and I would never say just stop cold turkey because it, it's not easy. However, my case was different. That was enough to scare me into taking everything out of my diet. Even though I didn't really eat bad, I didn't eat like pork and beef and stuff like that. Um, or a lot of like starches and stuff, but for me, that was enough because of the history in my family. So again, that's why I went vegan. Your story may be different. Maybe you just want to try it out. Maybe you're feeling a little bit sluggish lately. Maybe you're just, maybe you've gained weight. Uh, maybe your skin. I don't, it can be a plethora of, of things. And I think switching your diet, taking stuff out would definitely help with a lot of those that I just named. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into the tips and my first tip is to cook your own food. When you cook your own food, you have control of what's going inside of it. Okay. How much sodium, you know, um, if they're cleaning your, cleaning your, your vegetables like they should, you know, you have control over that. Um, and then you become like a great chef in the process, like myself. <laughs> so I would recommend cooking your, cooking your own food first. And, um, that will, that will start you off. If you are already a great chef, <laughs> um, it, it should be an easy transition. Um, tip number two, keep your kitchen stacked with the essentials. And what I mean by the essentials is, I mean, your grains your 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 leafy greens your fruits um your vegetables your nuts and your grains your nuts and your um what else your spices and stuff i always tell people when they say oh vegan food is so bland it's so bland it's not that listen when you buy chicken from the store would you eat the chicken out the pack no you will not <laughs> basically your food tastes like you want it to taste. Chicken tastes like your seasonings, right? So keep your same seasonings in there. Keep your seasonings and season the food like how you want it to taste. So that's my tip number two. Um, keep, your, keep, keep your kitchen stacked with your essentials. Um, also, vegan snacks. Find those too because I know a lot of people like ice cream and chips and stuff. Find an alternative or even make your own. Make your own. Um, tip number three is to meal prep and to plan your meals. That was one of my struggles when I first went vegan and I started out, I still am an alkaline vegan, um, but lately I've been getting a little bit bored with it. So if anybody 
that's listening now, if you follow Dr. Sebi, you would know that his list is very, very short. And to me, it's just a guide. It's a guide, but I literally stuck with it, literally, till t I'm, I'm still on it t today. But again, my reasoning is because breast cancer. So if I could prevent it, I will do anything to prevent it. Um, so in the beginning, I was having an issue with trying to cook so many things at one time that I started to get frustrated. So I don't even know whose video I came across. This was like, this was a couple of years ago. I don't even know if she's still on YouTube. And she said, she pretty much said, master one meal at a time. And I totally agree. If you only know how to cook quinoa, <laughs> You make quinoa every day. You make quinoa burgers, you make quinoa stir fry, whatever it is, master it. Because that way you know that I can just cook up some quinoa really quick, throw in some onions or whatever, make a little stir fry and I'm good to go. You don't wanna sit around and ponder on what you're gonna eat. So even for breakfast, plan your breakfast, plan your lunch, plan your dinner. You know, um, what I normally do is on Sundays, I would go to like a local farmer's market, buy my stuff. I actually go to more than one mart just to make sure I have everything. And I, I, I plan it out for the week. I chop up my fruit, I clean my salad, I clean my kale, I clean everything and I package it up for the week so I can just grab it, cook it and go. Um, and that, that helped me a lot. So I would say tip number two, keep your, I'm sorry, tip number three, meal prep and plan your meals. Tip number four, choose whole foods and grains. Um, again, quinoa is something that has protein in it. However, it does have a, an acquired taste. Um, if that's not something that you like, you can zhuzh it up. I have made, before I actually went alkaline vegan, I tried it out. I've made like Spanish rice and beans, but with quinoa, I made my own sofrito. It was amazing. So there is a way, just make it taste like your food. Um, I also eat wild rice, which is not everybody's cup of tea. and is a little pricey, however, um, I actually love it now. So wild rice is one of those things where you have to soak it. I almost got a little discouraged because I did not want to soak my food overnight. Like I, it was just too much. My grandmother was soaking beans back in the day and I just didn't want to do it. So I figured out a way to make my wild rice with more cups of water and it came out fine. Now it's not soft like regular rice, but it's good. Um, so yes, tip number four, Choose whole foods and whole grains. Tip number five, I would recommend anybody do a cleanse before they go vegan. And the reason why I'm saying that is because sometimes your body will still crave that food that you ate while you're vegan and then you are more likely to backslide. So if you cleanse your blood and cleanse your body and stuff with like certain herbs and stuff, you will have a better time you would you would have a better chance of not backsliding in my opinion but i am going to link some of those herbs in the bottom of the description um even if you didn't go vegan right away i just think that these herbs are really really good to put into your body listen god put herbs on this earth for us to, to, to put into our body and that's what i've been doing and i feel great so i am going to list a bunch of herbs at the in, in the description box for you guys to take a look at and do some research on it um some that have high iron, if you know you're lacking iron, I would recommend somebody drinking a tea before they take something at the doctor's office. That's just my opinion. Um, so that is tip number five, cleanse your body, rid your body of all the junk that was in it and kind of start fresh, start fresh. Uh, tip number six, make sure you're getting your all of your essential vitamins. So that's your zinc, that's your iron, your vitamin C, your vitamin D, your vitamin B12. B12 is one of those things where a lot of vegans are lacking. Um, but I do know that a lot of seaweed, um, nori, you have kelp, that has high vitamin, I'm, I'm sorry, that has high B12. The thing about B12 is that it comes from an animal. Um, so it kind of still behooves me that <laughs> they are able to make B12 if it comes from the gut of an animal. I don't know what they're trying to give these people out here, but if you can find a way to get it into your body, then you do that. I did come across the article of a doctor 
who said that you don't really deplete from B12. Your, your adrenal glands are just not working properly for you to get it. So that's something else you can probably look into. If you guys want, I could actually do some more research if you um, comment that in the, in the um, description box. I don't mind looking it up and coming back to you guys with the information, but again, Make sure you have your essential vitamins in your body because you don't want to feel sluggish because you've been eating so many things before that had it like kind of put in like cereal and stuff that has like vitamins and stuff. So you want to make sure you're getting this into your body. Some people take vitamins. Um, if that's what you like to do, then do that. Just make sure that you have a healthy, balanced diet. Let me not use the word diet because to me, this is a lifestyle. Um, okay, tip number seven. Buy natural herbs. There's so many natural herbs out here that we can take every day in a tea form, in a pill form. Um, and just, this is, it's, it's exactly what it is. If it's elderberry, you're getting just elderberry. You're not getting elderberry and whatever else that's in there that you cannot pronounce. So I'm really big on reading labels, guys. So read your labels and stuff. Sometimes they'll say something is organic in the supermarket, but when you look in the back, there's some other stuff in there that you just can't read. That's not organic. That's not organic. So read your labels. Be careful because a lot of these companies will market you uh, with organic on the front and on the back is something else. So just be mindful of that. So that's tip number seven. Tip number eight, go on a vegan tour. Vegan tours have like so much food that you can see that they have made taste like regular standard American food. Um, because I think a lot of people's fear is like I said, the food tasting bland. Oh, what am I gonna eat? This is the neck. Um, but again, be mindful of that because sometimes it's just like, it may not be plant-based, it may just be vegan stuff. So like mock meats and mock cheese and stuff. Not saying that it's horrible. I wouldn't eat it all the time, but I would definitely cheat with it. So that's tip number eight. Go on a vegan tour, figure out what type of food that you like. What can you try to make at home? What can you recreate? Um, so tip number nine. Well, it's not really a tip. It's kind of like, you can eat as much as you want. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I make pasta, but I don't eat regular pasta. I do eat kamut pasta, which is gluten free. And I can make a whole pan of it from scratch. And I can make my own tomato sauce and stuff like that. And I won't be full. Like I'll be full enough to where I'm, I know I've, I've eaten, but I won't feel bloated, I won't feel tired. Those are the things that I've noticed going vegan and I don't think I would go back to meat. Now, if if I was in another country, <laughs> maybe I would try some chicken. <laughs> it's just a little different in the US. Like they, sometimes I feel like they're here to help us and but then sometimes I feel like they're just not. So that's my opinion. You can, that, that's, that's just a statement that I wanted to make. You can eat as much as you want as much quinoa, as much wild rice, as much kale, as much fruit. You can juice as much as you want. I also make my own milk, which is the best thing I have ever done in my life. Buying milk was ridiculous. Just looking at the labels, all the stuff in it. Man, you can make your own milk with easy steps. I can actually give you guys the recipe to a milk, um, give you a recipe to make milk. Um, if you guys let me know in the um, description, in the comments, I can actually put that in the description. If I don't catch it right away, I'll probably do a video on it for you guys, but just let me know. Um, I know people who are, who have babies and stuff who've, who's done this and they babies are healthy and fine. You know, they make sure they got certain things in it like sea moss for their kids and um, kind of go from there. And tip number, I'm sorry, my last tip. So my last tip would be, be gentle on yourself, okay? Everybody cannot cold turkey this standard American diet, okay? You gotta remember, you've been eating like this since you were a child. From grade school to middle school to high school and college, and as an adult. So I would say be gentle on yourself. People backslide, it happens. Do not beat yourself up about it. Just know that you are trying your best to be the best version of you and to have and to be in the best health, okay? So be gentle, take your time, substitute slowly or take stuff out slowly. You don't have to rush it. And if anybody tells you, oh, why are you going vegan? You just say, because I want to. 
because somebody always has something to say when you're trying to do something good. And it's pretty annoying, but you're doing this for yourself and nobody else. Um, if you have diabetes, if you suffer from anything, if you suffer from anything, just take your health into your own hands and, and just try it out. It doesn't hurt to try. It doesn't hurt to try. I tried it. I love it. Um, I've come down in weight. I've never been really big, but you know, I've come down. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that I, that I did because sometimes even though I'm slim, I can sometimes feel a little heavy walking up these stairs in this house. <laughs> and that's how I know something wasn't right. But anyway, but those are my 10 tips. I'm actually gonna link them all below too, just kind of like the short version of it. So you guys can have it and just kind of refer back to it later on. But thank you for tuning into my channel and take care and good luck on your journey.